Alright guys, today, today is the day I've been waiting on for a long, long time. Alright guys, I shot that video a week ago today. One week ago today, I finished high school. I got done with high school. And uh, that's, a, that's a really big deal, uh, especially for me. For a long time, I never really thought that I'd graduate high school. I never thought that I would finish it. Um, due to some scheduling conflicts early on, my junior and, uh, or no, my freshman and my sophomore year, classes were kind of mixed up. I didn't know that if I would make it or not. A lot of people didn't know if I could make it or not. But I kept going through it all, and uh, it, it was rough. Hi high school was really, really rough on me the whole entire just process of it going into high school I didn't I wasn't really excited and now that I'm leaving I'm I'm happy I'm ready to be done with it I'm ready to move on because with a lot of hard work and everything that happens during or that has happened during these past four years I've never given up and that's what you you have to do even whenever it starts to look bad. Struggling this whole entire, you know, my whole high school career, I really, I wanted, I wanted to succeed in it. And these past couple of weeks, this past, you know, month or two even, I didn't think it was gonna happen. Um, in fact, I had already told myself that I was gonna drop out and I was gonna be done with it because I didn't think I was gonna make it. And then an opportunity came for me to go ahead and get it out of the way. Um, kind of cheat through it, not really cheat through it, I'm not going to say cheating because I worked really hard every day on it to get done and I'm done, I got, I finished. So never give up on that stuff ever. Um, now that, now that it's over I actually can move forward. And uh, moving forward probably has a lot to do with you guys, so let's, let me talk about that real quick. If there's one thing that I've learned fishing, it's that it's not a cheap uh, sport. There's nothing cheap about it. You're talking rods that are a hundred and two hundred, three hundred dollars. Um, reels, line, lures. Lures can get really expensive. Uh, the toys that we like to we like to use to uh, do our whole fishing thing, like this uh, boat that I have sitting over here that's set over here for like a year now, and I haven't got much use out of it. It gets it gets pretty expensive. So. One of the important reasons I wanted to graduate high school was to go to college and get a good job and uh, maybe afford to do what I want to do because I love fishing, I love making videos, I love doing all that stuff and sadly there's not a cheap really way to do it. There are a whole lot of products out there that are um, help anglers like me. I mean I'm just coming out of high school, I don't have a job yet or anything. And they can really tone down expenses. A uh, big one now for me is casking. Uh, switching all my reels over to them. That's going to help me a lot because they're affordable and durable. And that's what a guy like me is looking for. Because I can't afford to change my stuff around every six months. Or a year or whatever. The plan for college was to go be a marine mechanic. And go work on boats and stuff like that. But the only place that I could go actually get certified for that is in Chattanooga. Uh, I live in West Tennessee, and Chattanooga is like a 300 mile drive from here, and I'd rather be kind of closer to home. So after thinking about it a long time, um, I'm going to go to Paris. A lot of you guys at Fish, you might know about Paris Landing. It's right, you know, 30 miles that way. And uh, I'll actually be in Paris, and that's only like 20 miles. I'll be uh, doing, I'll be going for machining, machinists, stuff like that. Um, that's kind of a, it kind of keeps me doing what I want to do, and I can, I can roll with that. I also want to get into welding too, but I don't know how that's going to play out, and I'm not really sure, you know, what, what will come out of that, but machining for sure, 100%. So with that being said, what does that mean for my YouTube? What does that mean for what I'm doing right now? Well, uh, it's only May right now, and I'm not worried about school or at least college until later in the year, uh, fall semester, whatever, doing all that. Um, I want to get a job this summer so I can afford to keep doing this because that's a big issue for me right now is a 
affording to keep on going and doing this fishing and then um, trying to work out a schedule where I can keep fishing and make videos because that's really important to me if I'm not fishing like let me let me tell you guys I'm, I've never really talked about it that much um, but the main reason that I started fishing was to keep me happy like I said I'm done with high school and high school was rough on me I went into high school in this depression and I went through a lot of it that same way it was rough on me and fishing my friends the people that I fished with for years uh, you know Chad Matthew um, all them they've really they've helped me get through it fishing is what that that's me that's what's helped me get this far I mean it's helped me keep my sanity and that's kind of how this channel also got started because I started you know I enjoyed making I enjoyed fishing I enjoyed making videos too for other stuff but I wanted to do it in fishing and it's just it's given me it's given me an opportunity to keep what I like to do as a part of me I don't know how long YouTube's gonna be around it might not be around that long I mean they're already having issues so it might not even last another year but the main goal was to give me something to keep me sane which is what it's done and I also wanted to keep something for you know maybe if it does stick around and I get to show my kids or something what I used to like to do that would be awesome that would that's like the goal really quick I do I do want to add I want to thank everybody that's helped me get this far not just keeping me going in school but as far as fishing because as I said fishing is what's kept me going and some of the people have helped me they've it's not just people but the companies that have had my back during all this even companies that I'm not with anymore um, I, I want to I just want to thank everybody chaparral custom baits my first pro staff position Andrew Rollins owner operator dude you really you helped me out you helped me get going uh, Jake Freeman five by three dude never or uh, no excuses I've lived by that this just it's a part of me even you know to this day uh, Doug fishing FX dude you're you're awesome I cannot thank you enough for everything that you've done for me oh man there's you've all been great man I just JH Jim house JH flipping jigs dude jigs are awesome your walker head I've had one since the beginning and it still catches fish for me I, I gotta show you guys that at some point that's an awesome little that's an awesome little jig and then Robert Watts lazy man hooks dude that idea is just the lazy man hook is genius I don't I don't know how else to put it it's it's pretty it's awesome especially for places like I fish on Kentucky Lake that's it's a big help honestly I just I want to thank all you guys some of you aren't with me anymore but I still want to throw it out there and thank you for everything that you've done for me over the past you know two years year and a half just thank you high school's done I'm putting it behind me we've got graduation in like a week and a half or something like that I don't know if I'm gonna take a camera with me for that it'd be kind of cool if I stuck a GoPro in my pocket and just carried it you know wherever I went and just vlog the whole day that'd be awesome don't see that happening but if I do it you know that'd be that'd be pretty cool dude fishing this summer that's what we're gonna try to do is a lot of this fishing last summer you know my channel I started out a lot of videos with crappy audio of me and Matthew and Chad fishing and that was the time of my life I enjoyed that so much so we're gonna get back into that and we're just gonna go we're gonna keep the channel rolling and it's gonna be pretty awesome so I want to thank you guys for watching this little update I just want to tell you I'm kind of excited kind of not kind of in between but there's gonna be a lot more to come I do believe so I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you right here next time on Ken Arnold fishing have a good day never give up man never give up